We are here with the CEO of LinkedIn, Jeff Weiner, and we actually just got done having lunch, or maybe I ate. I don't know about <laughs> yeah, but we talked. So let's talk a little bit about the company. Um, one of the main things I want to kind of introduce our audience to three three places that you guys get your profit from. You have ad revenue, you have a subscription service, and the enterprise licensing. Social networking sites as a whole have gotten some criticism because of they haven't quite figured out the profit model, no. right? Do you feel like LinkedIn's fully learned how to monetize at this point? Well, there's always learning we can continue to do, but those three business lines that you mentioned have served the company very well, and we've been operating cash flow over the last two years. So cash flow positive, when you look at profit and you compare it to other social media sites, do you guys, where do you stand within that? You know, from a user base, yes, you are behind Twitter and behind Facebook, but from a profit model, do you feel that you are more profitable at this point? Well, it depends on the business. Uh, certainly you're seeing some success with other social networking platforms at scale, uh, but we're very pleased with the results thus far. Um, other question I have to ask, because this is a seven-year-old company, you're kind of in the later stages right now of what would be considered a startup. So a lot of attention on you guys from an IPO standpoint. What's the timeline? When you look at, I mean, seven years, right? People have got to be wanting their money back on this company. So what is the timeline? Well, we're very fortunate to have investors that are in it for the long haul and remain very bullish on the company. And we're going to continue to focus on building the business. I think the more successful we are with executing our plan, the more options we're going to have. We spoke with, I spoke with Reid Hoffman about a month or two ago, obviously the founder of LinkedIn, and he he said, you know, considering all options, that's the line. And he also said that an IPO is not out of the question in the next year. So my question to you would be, are you guys by chance meeting, for instance, with Scott Cutler from the NYC Euronext or the NASDAQ guys that, that at least consult and give you ideas and learn how to prepare for an IPO? Are you doing that right now? We're completely focused on building the business. So you're not even meeting with anybody that's perhaps learning how to get towards that? There's a, a lot of people who are very interested in what we're <laughs> going to be doing, but uh, we're very focused on the day-to-day. -day. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about kind of um, the growth of the actual site. One of the issues I think that LinkedIn has been working on is fighting the stigma that it's just a place to go when you're looking for a job. So do you feel that you're fighting that, that fight effectively? Well, it's not so much fighting it. I think uh, we're increasingly making clear to our users how they benefit uh, beyond finding a job uh, and for recruiters beyond filling a job. So ultimately, we not only want to help you manage your career, but we want you to be great at the job that you're already in. And we do that by enabling to, you to build your brand, uh, to build your network, to manage your network, and to share the information and knowledge you need to be successful at what you're doing. So increasingly, you see people going way beyond uh, simply finding jobs on LinkedIn. Hey, Jeff, let me, uh, let me pop in here the quick question. I recently saw a report that said all the kids, and by that I mean people that are, you know, are a quarter of a century old and younger, are increasingly using Facebook email rather than regular email, meaning they, they use their social network to communicate with everyone else. And then it struck me that that could keep people on Facebook unless the platforms were to communicate with each other. Meaning, could I send from my Facebook account an email to somebody on LinkedIn or somebody on LinkedIn send from his account uh, something to somebody who was on Facebook and vice versa? Do you, do you talk with those uh, other social networking companies about that sort of thing? Uh, yeah. We do. We, we have conversations on an ongoing basis with a, a number of players, not only within the social networking industry, but beyond as well. Uh, case in point, we have uh, a deal with Twitter so that you can tweet into LinkedIn through integration, and you can also uh, have your LinkedIn status updates uh, messaged out to the Twitterverse. Jeff, uh, you guys are almost doubling your headcount. I mean, huge growth internationally. When you look at how, so the growth that you're seeing internationally, how much do you see that affecting your bottom line in, say, the next two years? I mean, how much do you see your profit growing in the next two years as a result of that growth in the user base? Yeah, we do think we're going to see significant growth overseas. Uh, last year alone, we had an opportunity to create our second office in Europe. Uh, we've established our first office in India, in Australia, and Canada. And uh, we hope to see uh, more revenue and profit coming from those overseas markets. Do you, when you, when you look Look at the pricing points on those. Are they different, or do you expect the same kind of revenue that you would get? Well, from a premium subscription perspective, historically we were one size fits all, and recently we were able to develop a, a subscriptions platform that now enables us to pick the best products and services for the right kind of segments of our audience and price on a local basis. Hey Jeff, let me just ask you one quick question because you mentioned, you know, you referenced earlier about, you know kind of doing things so that you'll have a lot of options going forward. What is the best option? Is it remaining independent in your view or is there some partner out there that you could potentially link up with? I think at the moment uh, we're very focused on remaining an independent company. 
When you, um, one of the one of the issues when, of course, we're going, look, I mean, look at the bottom line is we keep asking you about this because everybody wants to know, right? So is there any possibility that we're going to see some kind of major news coming out of LinkedIn in the next year or two that has to do with some kind of exit? Uh, anything's possible. Uh, ultimately, our mission is to connect the world's professionals. We're about 70 million today. We think there's as many as half a billion, and that number continues to grow, and that's what we're going to try to do. Jeff Weiner, CEO of LinkedIn, being a good sport with us.